I'm Jennifer Riley Chetwind. I'm the Director of Marketing and Social Responsibility here at Denver Botanic Gardens. I'm also the co-director of the One World, One Water Center at MSU Denver. Well, the Botanic Gardens really is a place for everyone and so is MSU Denver. I think they share that, that approach to, to wanting to remove barriers of access to all populations. And we really do feel, and I can speak on behalf of, oh wow, the university side, but oh wow, the garden side as well. We feel like there's something for everyone, no matter age, where you come from, what your interests are. Um, and I think CVA's waterline exhibit speaks to this when it comes to water. You never know what your hook is going to be. I mean, it may be, you know, you want to practice xeriscape in your garden and you want to have low water use plants, but not everyone gardens. You know, you may be concerned about where does your food come from and you want to make sure that it's high quality water that, that is being applied to your, to your food. Or you may just, you know, have some other interest and, and aptitude that's like, you know, the bigger picture. What is the water cycle? Where does my water come from? I mean, no matter what, there's so many hooks that are going to engage people in different ways. Art is a very powerful hook. At the gardens, we have annual sculpture exhibits and they pull in people, you know, each year it's going to be a different market that that exhibit is going to speak to. And that's the power of art. No one collection of art is going to speak the same way to everyone. So CVA bringing in almost 20 artists to talk about their views on water is tremendously powerful. So in our own way, we're trying to do the same thing through art, through plants, through engagement, and more than anything, just removing barriers to any audience out there and making ourselves relevant. If you talk about Denver Botanic Gardens, for example, we have education for everyone from little kids, our seedlings classes, learn where food is grown and, and how plants get to your plate. You know, uh, we have a salsa garden here, the Chipotle har Home Harvest Garden and the Children's Garden. That's for little kids to figure out where does their food come from. Then we have a farm program, an active agricultural program at Chatfield Farms that practices water-wise uh, irrigation and uh, water-wise farming. And then we have, you know, lifelong learning programs, whether you're interested in xeriscape or whether you're interested in just knowing where your water comes from and knowing what the best plant is and where should you put it in your garden. Uh, but beyond that, there, there truly is something for everyone here at Denver Botanic Gardens. So that combining forces with, oh wow, from an educational standpoint, makes lifelong learning all the more possible. And beyond just the campus and the gardens, we're reaching out to communities around the world the Botanic Gardens really focuses on steppe climates, which there are four major steppes in the world, Mongolia, Patagonia, South Africa, and here in North America. And all of those regions, you'll find the same types of plants because they grow well in a semi-arid climate. So we're already linked to these regions around the world. So there's no reason why we can't pull in Oh Wow to talk about the water impacts in these places.